Hi guys, uh, I'm Pat Skelly and welcome back to another edition of Pro Financial TV. And, and the, today we're going to talk about something a little different and uh, we, we try and do that all the time of course. But we've been asked over the past five or six months now a lot by our clients about fuel cell technology and, and how that's going to integrate and come into the marketplace. And of course we are, and we will be showing you very shortly in a, in a, in a future video, a fuel cell truck that's actually being built at the moment and we'll be able to give you some insight into that. But a lot of clients are asking, and some of the guys that have come on our channel have come back into and asked us, what is a fuel cell and how it works? And what I was going to do today really is give a basic overview, and again, I appreciate five or six or seven minutes, it's not going to be a, an in-depth understanding, but you know, please um, be sure that if you want to contact us and talk to us about this, we'll, we'll be more than happy to go through it with you and, and actually show you one in, 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 in the flesh, if you like. So today's all about trying to show how a fuel cell works and how you'll be able to get a feel for what, how that'll affect your vehicles going forward and um, I hope you enjoy the, the next few minutes. We, we spoke before about um, fuel cell and, and in this particular occasion we're talking about hydrogen fuel cell which is where everybody seems to be speaking about at the moment but I guess there's two things with it is, is understanding hydrogen as a fuel and in this occasion we, we to power vehicles we're looking at green hydrogen, so um, something that's, been, that's come from recycle, uh, so renewable energy, etc. Because if you, if, you, if you don't look at hydrogen in that way, um, and certainly if you start looking at grey hydrogen, then you, know, you may as well burn, you burn diesel or in fact coal. So it's, it's focusing on, on, the, on the elements that we're, we're talking about together. And in this case, it's green hydrogen, so recyclable, into a fuel cell. And a fuel cell is, is the thing that's going to give you the, the power to, to drive your, your vehicle forward in this case. You know, so I guess to a certain degree, there's, there's a, a number of elements around that. And of course we're using hydrogen and oxygen in this point to go through the fuel cell, which will generate the power to power the batteries, to make the motors go forward and give you water at the pipe. So, so I suppose it's how do we use a fuel cell to power machines, such as a car or a truck or a van in our case. And if you look at some of the, the conversation I'm having right now, we're going to see um, fuel cell cars on the road. We do now. Um, commercial vehicles are not that far away. And, and over the next two or three years, you're going to start to see this this increase in as we move forward. Now, there'll be a conversation which we'll have in an, another video about hydrogen ice vehicles, which is a very different conversation, different technologies. But, but, but watch this space and we'll go through that with you too. So we use a, a, a device called a fuel cell. In this case, a hydrogen fuel cell because we're burning hydrogen in the fuel cell. Um, combined with oxygen, we're going to make electricity. All good stuff. Um, not something you want, you want to do in, in, in your back kitchen at home, but let's look at how we're going to do this together. A fuel cell um, is, is a very simple piece of equipment. It's been around for many, many, many years now. And, and I guess it's the, the great and the good and the, the, the large vehicle manufacturers now that are going to turn these into, into um, elements to drive vehicles forward. I suppose to a certain degree, we've been waiting for it and it's going to be here really, really soon. But on a basic understanding, um, so a basic fuel cell, and of course there are, there are many more um, complicated fuel cells than we're going to show you today. Um, it's a fuel cell stack, and it's a stack because you've got many different slices right the way through. But what we're going to show you is a basic fuel cell. So it starts off with an, an anode and a cathode, and of course at one end we're going to put hydrogen into the anode, which are, which are hollowed, and it will go into flow hopefully right through the, the piece we see here, and you'll end up with out through the cathode comes harmless water. And, and that's, that's really the, the key to this. I guess, as we said before, one of the big challenges for me is to ensure that the hydrogen we're putting into the anode is green. And of course, um, from renewable sources, otherwise you, you, you're kind of fudging the, the, the wonderful green figures that we're trying to, to make. So I said, what is a fuel cell? Well, a fuel cell is um, a piece of equipment that allows us to produce electricity with hydrogen. And of course, as we keep saying, you know, from, from my perspective, especially if we're going to use these in vehicles and, and, and big machinery, we've got to use renewable and clean hydrogen. So let's assume we are. So a fuel cell itself, we have an anode and a cathode. These are both um, hollow, if you like, or tanks. And in this case, we're going to put hydrogen into the anode and we're going to try and get that across to the cathode. Challenges come um, in, in, in this area because hydrogen just won't flow through in its current format. But hydrogen itself is based off of one, new, one proton and one electron, uh, one being positive and one being negative, which 
gives us uh, a neutral um, product. So as we as we force the the um, hydrogen to the the catalyst, we end up with a a positive proton and a negative electron. Now, only positive things will go through the electrolyte, so that separates out the proton, and that will work away through into the cathode, um, which then leaves us with a with a slight problem. The problem being that you're left with an electron. Now, for those who uh, uh, are into this in a little way, electron that travels is actually electricity. So what you're left with is electricity as it, as it passes through the catalyst. And that has to go round. And so I suppose to a certain degree, um, it's only got one way to go. So we, we'll tap into that electricity and bring that round and over the top of the electrolyte and into your cathode. Of course, what you do then is you intercept that electricity as it's being manufactured and that actually then powers motors and actually charges batteries. And in that way, it then flows through and you end up with water as a byproduct. That's all you end up with. So that's a very simple version on, on, on how a, a very simple fuel cell works. Of course, it becomes more complicated as you, get, as you make them larger but realistically it just it, it is it is a, a very simple uh, very simple process now on on vehicles of course you'll need then fuel tanks to support your anode um to make sure you've got an adequate amount of fuel and of course if you're using um battery technology as well as as as, as the fuel cell you'll need the right size of batteries to allow you to have enough power to stay charged constantly but, you know, we, we've been looking at fuel cells recently, which are producing 22, 30 kilowatts um, constant of electricity. Really interesting. Um, and we'll be able to bring that to you very soon uh, on one of our um, live truck videos. So advantage of hydrogen, of course, um, there's some negatives, but we'll let's stick with the positives right now. And the, the, the absolute, absolute positive to hydrogen, whether it's cars or vans or trucks, is it's emission free. And assuming that we are buying renewable electricity uh, to produce the hydrogen, which of course is, is, is quite um, power intensive, but let's assume we are, then it, all your emissions for that vehicle will be with water. So great advantage to that. And it's actually a great advantage over electric cars. Um, so it's, it, it gives you uh, an, interesting, an interesting concept when you're filling up your um, hydrogen vehicle in, in a few minutes as opposed to um, an hour or so, or even many hours in, 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 in some electric car cases. So really, really positive. I think as we all understand the disadvantages in a lot of cases with, with new and, and, and emerging technology is infrastructure. And I, I guess from, from, from my point as well, the real real challenge with 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 hydrogen because of its um its intensity in, in, in power requirement to produce it is hydrogen is quite expensive at the moment the work we're doing with the, with the companies we're talking to you can see hydrogen is, is coming is coming right down and it's coming down now at, at a very steep rated knot but just to give you a feel at the moment just to um you know, it, 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 just to fill up a, a normal car could cost as much as seventy pounds, and and that's quite expensive. And then you've got to find somewhere you can put it in. So right now, it's very expensive to operate, but it's coming down, and it's still a green future we ought to look at. And hydrogen is going to play a very big part in that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed our little uh, escapade and little delve into the fuel cell technology piece. And of course. Everything we do on Pro Hire Truck TV and everything we try and, and get you involved with, we've got a full suite of information. We'd love to share everything we do with you. And of course, if you do like, if you can, we'd love you to like what we do. And of course, you know, follow us and subscribe to our channel and we'll try and keep you updated with as many different things as possible. Lots of new things coming through, lots of great stuff coming on the line. Um, and we'd love to see you again really soon. Take care, guys.